Okay guys, so I just wanted to show you the underneath of the transmission tunnel here because that grommet, that hole right there, that's my transmission harness from the Terminator X Max. So that's the transmission harness and I see I've basically attached it with some cable clamps up in the transmission tunnel because that was the only place there was room. And then down here, of course, we have our main transmission connector. Uh, this guy here is the VSS, vehicle speed sensor. And this guy up here is the turbine, turbine meter, this guy here. So vehicle speed sensor tells you how fast your car is going. And this one is the yeah, turbine, turbine speed. I don't know if you can see that, but anyways, yeah. So the big point I'm trying to make here is I had to go through my transmission tunnel on a Fox body because there's no room in the firewall to go through. Plus I didn't want to remove all the AC shit and all that crap. So this is a lot easier. So I believe it's a two and a quarter inch holder. And I got the special grommets from uh, Greg's. So similar to Harbor Freight in the States. And of course here on this side, that's our main engine harness going through, as you can see. Hopefully you can see that. So that's on the other, the uh, driver's side. So I showed you the inside. And of course, here's our shifter cable. So everything tucks in, we got lots of room. I'll show you here what I did. Uh, that's the main harness. And I attached it via the, uh, another cable, cable harness uh, clamp right there with a, a rivet nut into the uh, tunnel. So it holds it nicely. And of course, here's our cam and oil connector and we're gonna hook up our transmission so everything fits nicely crank sensor right there that foil covered thing so that's good and yeah so I just wanted to show you guys make the point that I had to go through either side of the transmission tunnel for my harnesses again this is the engine harness here going up to the middle of the transmission tunnel lots of clearance lots of room so that's nice transmission is not in yet I'll put that in shortly and again this is the transmission harness. Hey guys, so we're just on their Project Turbo LS here and I just wanted to show you the uh, transmission harness. It's all installed now. Here's our VSS right here, this guy. And uh, as you can see here, I ran it through the middle, but we have lots of uh, clearance. Like it's just, you know, just loose here. I got our protective heat wrap around it. So that's good. Uh, nothing is pinched. We have lots of clearance everywhere. Transmission case doesn't get that hot, so I'm sure it'll be fine. So here's our main harness right here that I'm pointing out. And here's the VSS again. And over up here, this guy is our turbine speed. Right here, that's to the front of the, uh, well, further towards the engine, that one there. Here's our cooler lines right here, running around. And up to the other side, you probably can't see that, but uh, maybe you can right there. This guy here, pointing out. So that's our, for our transmission cooler. And since we're under here, yeah, I got the converter hooked up to the uh, flex plate now with the fasteners. Um, these are our fuel lines, PTFE number six. Should be fine. If we have to go bigger, we will, but for now they're good. And this stuff doesn't deteriorate like, uh, like, the, like the AN stuff with the rubber, like my van, it deteriorated, so I got leaks, I gotta replace it now. So again, number six, feed and return right here, going through this subframe right here. And then we have our power cables going through this subframe right here. So this is a positive cable to the uh, to the starter, protected by our frame connector. And again, we've got the heat wrap around here. So that's good. As you can see, so we're underneath the car. I'll lower the car in real time here. I'm just using my glasses for the first time. I just wanted to see how these things work, these 4K video cam glasses. So we'll lower this and I'll show you the battery. And since we're under here, here's our intercooler here. Right there, our radiator, fan, power steering's there. So I was using this to rotate the engine over when I put the converter bolts in, so that's good. Uh, yeah, so we'll, I'll lower the car and I'll show you the battery. Then I'll show you the uh, the harness routing from top side, from inside the car, and then it's also inside the engine engine compartment, just so you guys can see that. 
So we'll lower the car now and uh, and I'll show you the trunk and the inside of the car. And uh, show you from the top side here. So as I pointed out, maybe not, but right there is our is our clamp for the harness and I've got that uh, fastened to the underside of the uh, transmission tunnel so it's holding it nicely coming through here. We have lots of clearance. Here's our all sending harness. This one here is the cam right there. And as you can see there where I'm pointing, we have lots of uh, lots of room, lots of clearance in the tunnel. I think you guys can see that. Hopefully you can. So we got lots of clearance even on this side here. So we've got lots of clearance. Again, I didn't want to come through the uh, firewall because there's not much room in these fox bodies. So as you saw in the previous scene, either side of the transmission tunnel, uh, two and a quarter hole. So that we ran the transmission harness through one side and the engine harness, which is this guy here, through the other. And uh, here's all our connections. One, three, five, seven. And over there we have two, four, six, eight. So that would be... Yeah, evens over here, and yeah, odd is right here. This is odd right here, and of course, this is our injector harness right here, and uh, right here for alternator we have the built-in resistor to make sure that our charging system works correctly. So that's right here, and uh, that goes to our alternator. So that's good, and uh, yeah. So the big thing here, guys, I just wanted to show you how the harness is run, uh, right through the middle of the transmission tunnel. The main engine harness there, and I've got the tra the uh, tranny transmission harness and the power going on the other side, where I showed you in the previous scene there. So I'll uh, take you to the back or even inside here now first. Let's grab the key and uh, show you the battery. Okay. So as we can see here, that's the uh, there's the hole, and that's the engine harness that goes behind comes around and plugs into right here on our Terminator X Max. So again, from down, from down there, goes around, plugs in over here. So pretty, pretty easy. So I'll open the trunk now, show you the battery. Actually what we'll do is we'll go to the other side first. And show you the uh, X Max over there. Move that table out of the way quickly. There we go. So that's uh, that's what it looks like from the inside, guys. As you can see there, there's our hole, and uh, I can point this out here. So here's our engine harness again, as I stated before, going around and through the hole on the other side, driver's side, and this right here, that's the transmission harness, as you can see here, right goes through. And this guy here, of course, that's our power harness right there. That goes to our battery, which we'll show you in a second here. And I've got a couple of the relays just mounted here. Easy access, so if they go bad, we can quickly replace them. One, two. And, uh, yeah, and here's our fuse right here. So we have easy access to everything in case something goes wrong. Just take the old, this Terminator X out, X Max, and put a new one in if necessary. So that's, uh, yeah, so that's the transmission side. For the passenger side hole, sorry the uh, the trunk now. Let's see what that looks like the battery. And that's it right there. So we have our vent right here, going outside. Negative attached firmly to the frame with a nice fastener, and of course this is our positive. That's what, that goes to our starter motor right here. This is a nice nationwide big battery. Uh, long lasting, yeah, I think this is actually a marine. Yeah, marine RV deep cycle, so this should be good. I just gotta make sure we got the proper voltage. Here's our battery case. Our fasteners go right, ready rod goes right through the frame rail as per NHRA rules, so that's good. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty solid in here. And uh, of course the lid goes right here and you've got lots of Lots of clearance before it touches, so we're good there. And I think I might even put some 
some duct tape on both sides of this just so in case it does touch you don't have any problems so, so yeah so that's the battery in the trunk there which is good oh yeah I just wanted to show you what shape this, this is a nice uh, this car is in really good shape as you can see so there's no rust on this thing whatsoever you see here nowhere 1980 really nice shape that's why I bought it really good uh, really good project car so no body work was required there's no rust it was also somebody told me that these, these panels are zinc impregnated that's why there's no rust on this car yeah you see here the inside of the door it's actually really clean even underneath there's nothing you know so it's, it's clean everywhere like you look inside this the door sills here nothing and it has you guys can see that 58,781 original kilometers so let's say it's six that's 60,000 kilometers so it's about 40,000 original miles from 1980 so that's over 41 years old guys so pretty good car so yeah so I just wanted to show you how the harnesses are run and we have lots of clearance in the transmission tunnel because that's kind of where we routed it so those two are there and again we had to put the engine in uh, when the transmission was out of the car because there was no way that I could line up these uh, These mounting ears here. I couldn't get the engine far back enough because it was interfering with the transmission The dowels so basically I had to drop the transmission take the transmission out then put the engine in and just drop it straight down on these ears right here so Worked out well it didn't take long to put the transmission in I just lowered the car onto the transmission So so yeah, so anyways engine and tranny are in harness is in and I guess this would be this can be considered an update video. So I just wanted to show you what was going on. So now we can everything's in. Hopefully I can get all this stuff hooked up, back together, and uh, get this thing running again. So I'm gonna make another video when I program the uh, X Max because again this is a four weight cubic inch engine. Now it's a little bit different. And uh, and yeah, so uh, so far so good. So anyways, guys, appreciate you watching and thanks for your interest. Uh, until the next video. Thanks a lot.